What if I tell you that around 50% electricity in India is produced by burning coal and it's gonna end in the next 100 years? Well, I am Ayush Patel, studying in class 8 of Vibrant Bays International Academy, gonna tell you the A to Z about sustainable development in the next six minutes. Next six minutes. Well, here you might be thinking that 100 years is a lot of time. Why is this guy even talking about it? We may not even be living. Well, it's our responsibility to leave a planet for our future generations that is habitable to life and health. The art has everything to satisfy every man's needs, but no one's greed. Well, sustainable development is a development that takes place without harming the environment and compromising the needs of our present and future generations. Sustainable development is important if you want your future generations to live like you. It is a newly new area where all the scientists, social scientists, philosophers and even economics are working together. Sustainable development is the peace policy of future. But what about past? How and when did this term came from? Well, it had its origin in the 17th and 18th century in Europe about the forest management principles. Nextly, IUCN, the International Union for Conserving Nature, introduced the report in which the term sustainable development was introduced. Furthermore, keeping this in mind, in 1987, the United Nations launched the Frontline Report in which the term sustainable development's most widely recognized definition was introduced. Sustainable development is no longer about doing less harm, it's about doing more good. It is the pathway to the future we want for all. It offers the framework to do economic sustainability and proper growth. It offers the contact between our environmental and social needs, allowing well-being for human beings. It also allows us to conserve our resources gradually by changing the methods in which we use technology. Also, it helps us to manage our non-renewable resources and gradually move to renewable resources. Sustainable development is very important if we want our future generations to live like us. So, what? So, so energy is nothing about development and development needs sustainable development. So, sustainable energy development is everything I need for sustainable development. There are three types of sustainable development. Firstly, solar energy. Solar, solar energy is one of the most today's resource for an important tomorrow. Solar energy is the greatest, solar energy's greatest advantage is that it is completely free and needs one-time investment. It is available in limitless nature so that it is helped for sustainable development. Wind energy. The solar energy has the same thing with the wind energy. The only difference is that it's done industrially and not household purpose. So wind energy is the same as hydro energy. Hydro energy is done in dams, is done in dams as it is so industrial for purpose. Nextly, the power of science is not to conquer nature, it is to live in it. There are three pillars of sustainability. They are economic sustainability, uh, environmental sustainability and social sustainability. First of all, economic sustainability. We cannot choose between economic growth and sustainability. We must have both. Economic sustainability means we have to reduce our consumption so that and conserve our resources so that it has a greater value and a future generations. Secondly, environmental sustainability. It just means look after the land and the land will look after you. You destroy the land and the land will destroy you. Environmental sustainability means that we have to conserve our resources and maintain the global ecosystem. Social sustainability. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Here, I am completely moving my hands towards social sustainability. According to this, my ultimate aim should be ending poverty, illiteracy, caste discrimination and much much more. Well, we are not about the nature. We are a part of it. The roots of it are gonna bitter, but the fruit is gonna be delicious. So, what? There are some outcomes of sustainable development. What are they? It will lead to reducing pollution. It will increase the quality of life. It will lead to cost reduction. It will lead to no poverty. It has the many, many advantages in us. We, not, we don't need to engage in thousands and do heroic actions. Small actions when multiplied to millions can change the world. The greatest threat to the planet is the belief that someone else will save. So, what do I need to do at my home to do sustainable development? Well, for the, with sustainable development, I need to use water wisely. I don't need to use plastic and use jute bags instead of it. Nextly, I, I, I should install solar plants on my house just so that they can, uh, they can do sustainable development. Nextly, I should show kindness to others. Then, I should use EVs. 
Here, I, I would like to clear a point. EVs are only useful if I move to renewable sources. If you cannot align to the nature, you should not at least defy them. So, to do this, UN has specified some goals around 70. So, what are that goals? Firstly, zero hunger, no illiteracy, in, uh, life below water, quality of life and education, and much, much more. If working apart, we are a power to destroy the earth. Then, then if we are working together, we are power, powerful enough to save the earth. We are using resources as if we had planet B. There can be no planet B because there is no planet B. People say let's go to Mars. I say why to go on Mars? Make the earth worth living. We are living in the best era. The past ones didn't have technology and the future one didn't have, will not have the environment. So today, let's take a pledge. A pledge to save the environment. A pledge to lead to sustainability. A pledge to show kindness. And a pledge to end poverty. Not wasting much words, I would like to end my speech here. Thank you, have a nice day.